Good afternoon everybody, this is Nelka again and I received a question from our YouTube friend and his name is Rizki Arif Kornyawan. He said or he commented, Hi Nelka, do you have a video that shows how you did the badminton courts in Dialax Evo? How to make a badminton lighting design layout in Dialax Evo? And I think he watched this um, video about lighting design ah so it's about how to create a transparent net in dialax evo so i show this transparent net but the project sample is a badminton court and so okay i will open this one now i think i already selected here okay so i will open that project for mr rizki arif so he will understand how i did this badminton court project Okay, so Rizki Arif, badminton court. This is an indoor lighting, sports, indoor sports lighting design. So uh, you need to make sure that you read the standards first before uh, doing the lighting calculation for a badminton court. And you can check that one in one of the Zibse collections of uh, lighting guides books. I think that is LG4 and it's all about indoor sports lighting design okay so uh okay it's still opening okay so it's open now so let's go now and check this one so this is the badminton court that you've seen in that youtube video and you can see now here this is how it looks and if you go to the store a site building it's just a i think it's a modification it's an old warehouse and then they change it into a badminton uh, sports facilities and go to the story you can see it's like this and if you go to the the room tab it will be look like this so you might think that I over design it but it's not because see this is a simple truss all you need to do is to create this one piece and then copy and paste copy and paste and if you go to the plan view it's very easy it's just one box and then I just add the columns where all those trusses are located <clears throat> so if you want to learn the basics of using the Dialax Evo software, go and visit Dialax um, channel here, the Dialax channel, and uh, this channel will teach you the basics on how to use the Dialax software. Or you can go and visit again my website. I think I have lots of videos on how to use the Dialax Evo software. But because my channel is a mixed up like lighting design techniques and also uh, how to use Photoshop, Dialax Evo, and AutoCAD in lighting design. So, um, I don't think, you, I think, uh, yeah, sorry. I have some basics about, I think it's in my playlist. So, go and check in my playlist and um, check the, the one that says Dialax Evo Basics. Yeah, go and check it here. So, it's just here. Okay. And, but, but uh, to make sure that you learn everything, go and check the channel of the Dialax. So, this is how I did this the, um, badminton course. And if you want to ask um, how at, and how to do the lighting design calculation for a badminton court, it is very important that you read the lighting guide from Sibs, the one that I mentioned a while ago. Because see the layout of the fitting here, you can see it's along, it's in the side of the court. Yeah, see the luminaires are all along the side of the court. Why is that? Why it's not uh, all over the court or the room? Because the technique for a lighting calculation or lighting design for a badminton court, you need to place those luminaires along the side because it creates glare to the players if you put it here on this one so i i would like to encourage you to read and uh, study the lighting guide on how to do the lighting calculation for um badminton courts or any indoor sports lighting this is similar to basketball or tennis for the indoor because you need to make sure that those lights are on the sides not on top of these courts because this, the tennis court or the badminton court, the ball is really sm small and most of the time the players are looking up. So glare is really there and you, need, you can eliminate that one if you place those luminaires alongside. Okay. Um, 
what else you need to make sure that there is a uniform and the color of the floor at, at the same time the walls also affect the calculation surfaces so you need to make sure that you add it in your calculation report you need to make sure that the colors of uh, the bad badminton courts walls and floors are there in your report so how I created the calculation surfaces, just go to the calculation object and you can see here now that I have C, 1, 2, 3, 4. And you may ask me, where did I get the texture, like, like this texture of uh, green texture of the court? Well, it's just easy. Go and Google it. You can just text, uh, search um, uh, badminton court texture. Don't forget to use the word texture. So it will give you uh, the texture for the badminton court. Okay, it's better to show it to you. So just type in the Google badminton court texture. Yeah, and then it will give you a lot of texture. And then you just need to select one, save us in your desktop. And then when you go to your Dialog software, go uh, Dialog Evo software, Go to your construction tab and then go to this materials tab and then create texture material so you see if i pick material yeah it's just a texture okay and where did i put the texture of course before you put the texture because if i just place it the texture here on the court it will be all over so you need to create first one very thin object as your court see it's 0 0.001 thickness and then this is where you will put your texture so it will be different from the rest of the floors okay and then then after that you can place now your calculation surfaces so in in doing the calculation surfaces again there is what we call the playing ground the in uh, inner inner court line and also the total playing area or the ta which is sometimes the players goes outside the court just to catch the ball or the shuttlecock so it's the ta and the pa so you need to make sure you added that one in your calculation report okay so that's it and uh if you want to see how it looks in the ray tracing yeah it looks like amazing yeah this is how amazing dialogue sivo it looks good okay another important thing about this um badminton court lighting design is you need to make sure that there is enough light on the wall because uh, the the difference of the, the color of the shuttlecock on the wall should be recognizable because sometimes the players you know if it's too white and the shuttlecock is also white it may uh, stop them from finding or locating the shuttlecocks properly so yeah it's another concentration to do that okay so read the standards for the indoor sports lighting first and then from there you can start working on your um, uh, tennis court indoor lighting design calculations all right so i hope you learned something today and i will add this course this topic to my udemy course so if you want to learn more about the indoor light sport indoor sports lighting design calculation go and visit my udemy course See, it's already here. I keep filling up a lot of courses here in my Udemy, uh, Udemy page. So go and check that one and then maybe you can enroll it next month. I just need to finish it and Ude Udemy keep checking all my courses because before they publish it, they need to double check everything first. So keep looking it in my Udemy course and then uh, of course it's, it's www.udemy.com. And of course, go and visit my channel. Uh, Dialux channel or uh, my channel and of course my website www.nrocolightingdesign.com for more tips and tricks and lighting design inspirations all right so that's it for now i hope you learned something today mr mr rizzi arif kornia one okay see you again on the next video bye